If you ever took physics or just heard of the equation E equals mc squared, you may have heard of the saying, time is relative. It's the reason why in 10 years, I will be 10 years older while my dog would be 70 years older. That's how dogs work, right? Dog years? I'm not here to tell you how space and time works. There's enough YouTube videos on them already. But I've always wondered, what makes a second a second? The second is the most important unit of time. Everyone knows how long a second is. A lot of people use one Mississippi, two Mississippi, to count the seconds passing by. When you do the countdown to New Year's, or in sports games, one can easily count the seconds left until the clock hits zero. We can count the number of seconds that pass, but we can't count the number of minutes that pass without knowing how many seconds has passed. If you count 60 seconds, you get a minute. 60 minutes, you get an hour. 24 hours, you get a day. 365.25 days, you get a year. But back to the question, what makes a second a second? It can't be a millisecond, I mean, it's already on the name. It's based on the second. It's one thousand of a second. One thousand milliseconds makes one second. I'm gonna count to four seconds. One, two, three, four. We've come to recognize the timing. It's pretty much about right. But the second didn't have to be that long. It could have been one, two, three, four, but it's not. What I'm trying to say is, why is a second that specific duration of time? So I looked into it, and the second didn't have a proper definition. It was simply 86,400 part of the mean solar day. Because back in the day, people used the sundial, which the sun would cast a shadow on, to tell the time. Simply, a day is the time it would take for the Earth to make one whole rotation around the sun. A day would then be divided into 24 hours, with 60 minutes each, with each minute being composed of 60 seconds. So it started with the day, and then we slowly divided it into smaller time increments, and that's how we got the second. However, the speed of the Earth's rotation on its axis slows down over time, due in part to the gravitational pull of the moon, as well as the movement of the Earth's crust. This meant that the length of the day would be inconsistent, and would not be suited for accurate timekeeping. This would mark the creation of the ephemeral second, which would be defined as 1,31,556,920.9747 of the tropical year. A tropical year would be the time it would take the Earth to make one complete trip around the Sun. However, like the length of the day, the time it would take for the Earth to make this complete journey around the Sun can vary year from year. So the tropical year they settled for as the basis of what we can define a second is the tropical year of 1900. This definition didn't stick around for long. Because of course it didn't. The ephemeris second was already super complicated. So we've based the measurement of time on the length of the day and now the length of the year. But these things aren't precise. So the definition of the second had to be changed once again. It was soon discovered that atoms pretty much move the same way and at the same rate everywhere in the universe. So it was decided that the atom would be used as the new standard for a second. The new definition, according to the PTB, the National Meteorology Institute of Germany, the duration of 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between two hyperfine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom. <gasps> this is why atomic clocks are called atomic clocks, because they are powered and synchronized based on atoms. More specifically cesium, but some can consider strontium as more reliable. But for now, that's the definition of a second. To put it simply, that big number I just mentioned is the number of times the atom of cesium oscillates in a second. Oscillation can best be visualized as waves, and the duration between each wave, that is one oscillation, which is also one hertz. So for every 9,192,631,770 waves oscillated by cesium-133, we pass a second. And that is the history of the second.